Hey guys, this is Lee here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your mass base and your sunfish. This also can be done with the mass cap just in case these things break. Let's get right to it. Okay, so here we have a sunfish mass with a cracked mast base. And as you can see here, you have these push pins on either side and then they go into right there. So to remove this, we first have to remove those pins. And as the name implies, you can just push them. I'm gonna get a little nail and tap them out and keep them for later installation. If you need to replace the, the top cap of the mast, it's the same principle as the mast base. So I'm gonna show you in this video how to change the mast cap or the mast base. They're both the same procedure and I'm going to show you how to do the mast base. So I have this broken mast here. As you can see, it broke where the cleat was. And I'm going to recycle this end cap, which is held in by this rivet. So what I'm gonna do to get a purchase, because a lot of times when you try to use a brad nail, it'll kind of slip off. So I'm gonna take the sharpest Phillips head screwdriver because for some reason, it, I feel like I can get a better purchase and I'm not hitting my fingers. So I'm gonna give it a nice smack. And that will give me a purchase, a little hole right there. So if you like this content, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. So then, I'll use my brad nail from there. I'm gonna hold it with some needle nose pliers. Let's see if this works. You don't have to do this. Maybe you could get lucky and just go straight to the uh, straight to the brad nail. But it didn't take that much time. Now another thing you could do is if you have a, a problem getting push pins out, you could drill them out and then put screws or rivets in. So there's a rivet here. So if you look at the rivet, this is done by the factory. And there's a little bit of thickness there, but that really doesn't matter. So watch through to the end of the video, and I'm going to give you a special tip that could save you a lot of money in the long run. Mother, I broke a burr. I also drill a hole. That's about a quarter inch hole in here so I could drain the mast after sailing because a lot of times the mast gets full of water and you gotta drain it. This has to be a stainless steel river because the aluminum rivets would have been eaten away already. I don't know if I can pull it out. That's a chick mushroom underneath. So I pull out the head. So just like the push pin. So well, here's the head of the rivet. I don't know where the bottom came out. All right, now to get this off. Get this off. It's not. I just have to twist it, but sometimes you could take a little thin screwdriver and pry it out. You see the inside of that, there's a little caulking. See that? A little silicone jobby in there that's supposed to keep it watertight. So this particular mast cap has no hole. This That's for the rivet. There's no holes for the push pin. So if I want to put a push pin in there, I'm going to have to drill holes that coincide with the holes here but that's gonna to be too big, it, it might not stay. Now, let's see what I can do. I wanna to try to cheat and use that pin for this one here. So line it up and see if that works. I doubt if it's gonna work. I'm gonna push this one in here, right here. I'm gonna tap it in with a hammer. The alignment is good. It's 
too shallow. So if you look at the thickness from the edge here to here, it's not lining up with the rivet hole. That's how come it wasn't going through. Okay, so I'm a little bit off. So I'm gonna have to, if I wanna use these push pins, I'm gonna have to drill. But I got a problem. Drilling out the, the rivet, I broke my 1 16th inch drill bit. So I'm gonna have to try to look for one. If not, because if I make the hole too big, then my push pin will push right through. And then I'll have to either go by a screw or a rivet. So let's see if I could find a, another drill bit. Ooh. I'm in luck. That's luck. Let's see if I break it though. So instead of using the original hole for the rivet, I'm going to rotate it away. Depends I'm gonna have to drill. Okay. This is actually really silly to do. Because of the hole here. Well, I'll do it anyway for no reason. And that is how you repair and replace the mast base cap. And you could also do that with the mast cap. It's the same situation. So as promised, here's the tip that's gonna save you a lot of money in the long run. So a lot of times we're going to be using some silicone on your boat, but you don't really need all the silicone in the tube. There's a trick that Peter Wells, who's been working in construction professionally for his whole career, after you do the tip, and you have all this left over, you don't wanna waste it because if the cap doesn't stay, then this $10 bottle of silicone is going to get all dry. What Peter has showed me is to just basically wrap the tip around tightly with electrical tape. You get all the way down to the tip and all the way down to the base, and that's going to keep your silicone fresh for the next time you use it in five or 10 months. So don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for more videos. And if you like that content, don't forget to check this one out right here. Thanks, and I'll see you on the water.